show of the season, now and again, CBS Friday. I could use one. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. That's good tea. Thanks. What's that? Um, came in the mail yesterday. It's from Abigail's mother, Mrs. Williams. Abigail, your daughter. Molly's in mine. Apparently, she's been asking questions about who her biological parents are. Wow. But was she now like 15? Just turned 16. Mrs. Williams wants to know if it would be okay for her to tell Abigail who we are. Well, you got this letter yesterday and you're just telling me about it now? <sighs> Lily. I wasn't sure that I was even going to tell you at all. Yes, dear, this is a new adventure for us. Yes, it is. Mommy's going back to work, but it's okay. You know why? Because I'm going to have you and all of your little animal buddies right here by your side and your little nummy, too. And guess what else I have for you? I have cookies, and I have your favorite book. Oh, we are going to have so much fun together. Yes, we are. Oh, I wouldn't count on it. Daniel, look who's here. It's your grandmama. Oh, can it, Emily? Excuse me? <laughs> this transparent display of um, overblown motherhood type thing. Do you see it's off at all? Because Tom is not here. Oh, no, no, no. I work here now. Oh, no one told you. Alec changed his mind and green lighted the reporting job. Yeah, your daddy wanted me to have. Did he? Yeah, he did. And um, since you pride yourself on being a thoroughly modern employer, I'll look forward to your opening a, a daycare center for Daniel and all the other children. Yes, I do. Oh, you are so sweet. You are going to be right here with Mommy. Yeah, we're going to be working together. Mm, we are going to be one big happy family. I have missed holding you like this. You will never know how much. I missed you too. I did. You're the only one, Tom. It's always been you, nobody else. Margot's first and foremost a cop. <laughs> when things aren't going her way, she'll dig and dig until she finds out why. Well, she better be wrong. Casey's in school. I... Margo, what? Uh, we gotta stop. Oh, wait. You just said that you feel the same thing I do. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hate to do this, but you gotta go. Where am I gonna go? I don't know, but you, you, you just gotta... Just hide. No, I'm not doing that. 
That's what boyfriends do. They hide from husbands, not the other way around. Hey, what's going on with you and Wallace? Margo, we need to talk. I can't explain it right now. He just can't find you here, all Why right? How the hell can't he find me he here? He's gotta go. It is time just... that you level with me. The other night at Wallace's I'm penthouse, begging you to... I had to bail you out. Now you want me to, to hide from this guy? Margo, I know you're Dylan, just go. Leave. Just go. Go, right? Go. Sweet time. What's up with you? As the World Turns is brought to you today by Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking up. Countless mornings at the lake. This race could be our big break. Just love that mountain grown blue. Now I'll leave my crew. In rhythm we row as one. Racing towards the rising sun. The best part of waking up, waking up. is folders in the cup. Now that we've blended Jif with chocolate, apples and cinnamon, and the taste of berries, they'll do whatever it takes to get some. You're fast, but not fast enough. New Jif Smooth Sensations. Peanutty Jif blended to make a luscious chocolate silk, apple cinnamon, and berry blend. Three sensational new choices for choosy moms. See that berry blend left? Being a volunteer fireman is tough enough. With a cold, it's tougher. What's up with you, Sparky? I don't know. I don't feel so hot. Forget that. It won't extinguish headaches, sore throat, and fever. Like non-drowsy day quill. No, 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 no. What are you going to do? Cough out the fire? Here. That's good stuff. Thanks, Chief. Like the multi-symptom relief of NyQuil? Try non-drowsy day quill. Ready? Day quill. The non-drowsy, congested, stuffy head, sore throat, coughing, aching fever, be a hot shot through the day medicine. Have you seen the latest? One-a-day joint health with glucosamine, a unique blend designed to help you maintain flexibility. It's from One-a-day. And just what you need to feel your best. Mm. These fries are delicious. Are you sure I can eat these? Yeah, they're low fat. Got the recipe from Pam. Pam? I don't know her, but I like her. <laughs> Pam really cooks. Why wouldn't you tell me about this letter? Lily, we went through enough with David Stenbeck. I thought that I killed him. It didn't make our lives any easier. But now we know he's alive. He's in jail. We have a daughter back. I thank God for that every day. I have you, Luke, Faith, my family, just the way I want them. I just, I didn't want to create any new complications. You were worried about how I would react to this? Yeah. Yeah, I was. I knew someday your daughter would want to find out about her real parents. I guess you understand this Being better than I myself. do. Right, exactly. Huh. I mean, maybe she won't want to see you, you know? Sometimes these reconciliations work out and sometimes they don't. I wonder what Abigail's expectations are. Who knows? I mean, she's 16. That's old enough to know the truth. So you think that I should write Mrs. Williams and tell her that it's okay to tell her about me? Look, if Abigail wants to connect with you now, the timing is perfect for us. I know I did the right thing by giving the hope back to Denise, but I also know how much you miss her. You miss her just as much as I do. What is it they say? God closes one door, another one opens. This has to be your decision, Holden. If you think one of us is going to have a problem with this, it won't be me. What do you think? 
Well, I think you missed your calling. I can see my face in them. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your shirt, sweetheart. Thanks. You're welcome. Wish you were coming to Boston with me. Mm. I know medical conferences can be pretty grim. Oh, but not when my husband is the keynote speaker. And what do you say? Dinner in the North End? Mm -hmm. That little jazz club that you like so much? Yeah. Harvard Yard? The Commons? 700 doctors, talking shop. And one sneaking away every chance he gets to be with his beautiful wife. Oh, sweetheart. Come on, I'll call the airline. Oh, not so fast. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I... I'm just not sure that it's... that I should be going away right now. Well, I'm worried about, um, among other things, your mom. I mean, she was just telling me the other day that she hasn't been sleeping, and I don't know. I'm not sure she's okay, you know? Mom was here this morning. She's fine. Well, I know that. I know that. But I just am not sure it's the right time for both of us to be gone. Don't let her hear you say that. I, I can call Lisa. She'll come in and drop in on her. Oh, honey. How long do you think it would take your mom to figure that one out? What does my mother need? A ride to town so she can do her volunteer work. <laughs> She doesn't even need that all the time. I mean, I can just hear her now. Bob, please, I am not Miss Daisy yet. I don't need a chauffeur. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, honey. Well, she does value her independence. Yes, she does. Who are you talking about? Oh, your grandmother. So, anyway, sweetheart, I'm afraid we'll just have to forget about it. Damn it. Relax, I'll get a glass. What? <laughs> I... Look, the only way I'd feel right about doing it is if you're really up front with your mom. And Kim, you know, you... look what Karen Frommer dropped by. She picked them herself. I thought we would make some apple pies. Uh, you uh, wouldn't be having a family conference without me, would you? I was just, I was, uh, just doing some housework. Housework? Yeah, because I don't have a job anymore. Well, actually, that's why I came by to see you. What, to give me my job back? No, but I am feeling guilty. About firing me? About persuading you to come work for me and leave the department, yes. And then firing me. Margo, look, I know you feel like I sandbagged you, sucker punched, and even set you up. But... You got all three of them right there. Can I come in? Sure, Alec, come on in. Thank you. Look, Margo, I know you got children to support. So here, I want you to have this. What's this? Consider severance pay until you find another job. You know, Alec, that's really, that's really very nice of you, but I can't accept it. Well, it'll make me feel a whole lot better. Well, uh, if I needed it, I'd take it, and I don't want to make you feel better. Okay, fine. So, what are you going to do? Going to go back to the department? I haven't decided yet. Tom provide you with any financial support? Tom gives me a little bit of money for Casey, but I don't take anything for myself. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, not that it's any of your business, but why are you glad to hear it? Because it means the two of you are so estranged. You filed for divorce yet? No. Why not? Because I just haven't, all right? Okay, I'm sorry I'm annoying you, but since you and I have been dating, I feel I'm entitled to know whether or not you're planning on getting a divorce. So are you or aren't you? You. I thought it was a mouse. And no, that's Freddy the Frog. It's Dana's favorite toy. <laughs> oh, Emily, this is a newspaper office. This is not bring your child to work day. Oh, Grandma is in a very, very bad mood. Yes, she is. I think she needs some of your sweet kisses to make her feel better. <laughs> Look at this boy. <laughs> no. I love your sweet kisses. Yes, I do. You're the sweetest I... boy. And as sweet as you are, I'm not going to let your mommy use you to manipulate people. Whoa, 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 wait. Excuse me. You think I'm trying to manipulate you? Mm-hmm. Me and Tom, right? 
What does Tom have to do with this? Oh, just, uh, just everything. You think I'm using my son to get to Tom? <laughs> you'll use your son. You'll use any weapon you can get your little mitts on. Oh, just Lisa, I have no claim on Tom. <laughs> oh, please. That's the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. I know you. I'm on to you, honey. Oh, really? And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, Danny. We're going to be one big, big, happy family. Yes, you just listen up, Cookie. I wrote the book on how to trap a man. And no way, do you hear me? No way am I going to let you get your hooks in Tom. What you do for your body, we do for your skin. With a whole new moisturizer from Noxima Skin Fitness. Oil free skin endurance. It hydrates thirsty skin but lets it feel like it can breathe all day long. New Noxima Skin Fitness Moisturizer. Feel fitness within every inch of your skin. <laughs> Look awful. Sinus pressure, huh? You know how Advil handles your tough pain fast? Well, Advil cold and sinus handles tough sinus pain fast. This is in this, plus a decongestant. That's why they call it Advil cold and sinus. Introducing a great tasting way to take a bite out of your kid's fever. New children's Advil chewable tablets. Fight fever fast with the great tasting chewable. Children's Advil. When we choose eggs for our noodles, we're very choosy. We choose eggs with no yolks to make noodles with no cholesterol. They cook up fluffier and help you eat healthier. No yolks noodles. We don't have what you don't want. Quick Dissolve Maalox contains calcium. Get more calcium than regular Tums with new Maalox Quick Dissolve Chewable Antacid. The calcium is an added plus, definitely. And it dissolves faster than Tums. I can't improve on that. Quick Dissolve your heartburn away and get more calcium. Get an inside look at the new fall season. Yes! Go to Target and pick up a free fall entertainment guide. Get a sneak peek at the new shows and enter to win a 27-inch Zenith TV. Only at Target. Sorry, I kept you waiting. What do you want to talk to me about? What the hell do you think? You're going to move into that apartment? Yeah. What's the big deal? Well, for one thing, that's where Reed... Ha David Stenbeck lived. For another thing, it's too close to me. Look, if you're worried about running into me... That's exactly what I'm worried about. Relax, okay? And you don't need to send your mother or brother over here again to tell me to keep my distance. I'll do it all on my own. Why do you keep making things so hard on yourself? How am I doing that? Well, now that David, or should I say Reed, David, Reed, David, now that he's in jail, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna come back and try to get me? You keep doing this. I'm doing this because I had to get out of Carly's hair, and I saw the landlord yesterday cleaning the place out, so I jumped on it. But it doesn't have anything to do with you, and it certainly doesn't have anything to do with David. Right. Fine. Don't believe me, Andy. But I signed the lease, so deal with it. That's really sick. That is really sick. Why are you so ticked off, Andy? Uh, if you're really over me, as you say you are, what do you care where I live? If Abigail would ever want to meet me, I would love that. She's a part of me that I, I never expected. 
I never knew about, not until Molly showed up. And then you two went to look for her. Yeah, and we found her at a, a town fair. We met her parents. They seemed like nice people. Gosh, it must have been so hard on you two not to identify yourselves. Well, it was easier, knowing that she was happy. She seemed so poised and pretty. Hmm. <laughs> She's probably driving now. Yeah, boy crazy. Yeah, that too. I wonder if she rides. If she doesn't, I'd love to teach her. You'd be great with her, Holden. Yeah. Probably shouldn't speculate. Probably doesn't even want to meet me. Well, you remember how angry I was at Iva for giving me up. It's very, very hard on children. I'm sure. They just want to be wanted. The fact that you and Molly were too young to be parents, they met. That may not be enough of an explanation to Abigail. No. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be negative, but I don't want to see you hurt, Holden. No, I, I, I hear you. We should just take this one day at a time. All right? Are you sure I can't make a sandwich for anyone else? No, thanks, Mom. Chris. You never turn me down. Well, I already, I already had some pizza earlier. Thanks, Graham. All right. What did I barge in on? Nothing. Uh, well, I was just packing to go to Boston. You know, the medical conference. Oh, yes. Boston should be lovely this time of year. Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Dad weren't sure how to break it to you, Graham, but uh, looks like uh, you're going to be stuck with me while they're gone. It'll be great. I'll be your chauffeur. I'll take you on errands. We'll, you know, keep you company. Oh. Well, I certainly don't need a chauffeur, but I will more than welcome your company. Why? Does anyone think I wouldn't? Uh, well, well, uh, well, no. It will be a distinct honor to be squired around the town by this gentleman. No, no, Young no. and handsome. <laughs> the honor is all mine, madame. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kim, you're going to go with Bob then, huh? Uh, well, yes, I'd love to. That's all right. Oh, that'll be wonderful. And Chris and I will be just fine. I've been wanting to go back to the Oasis. But of course, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you all will excuse me, I'm going to watch the second part of that film that Christopher taped for me. What film was that? Oh, the uh, British mystery that was uh, airing too late for me to watch. Uh, honey. She's fine. I mean, she's as independent as they come. I can handle the assignment, believe me. What's the problem? Can we trust you if she really needed you? Are you joking? I mean, come on, Dad. I, I love Graham. I, I'm not going to screw this up. You know, it's just that your father's saying Graham doesn't need any extra um, aggravation. That's all. That's all. Right, all. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, come on now, me. Chris. I mean, please, you guys were just agonizing over who could look out, out for her without tipping her off and making her feel bad. I like being with Graham, and she's crazy about me. What do you think? <laughs> He's right. They're gaga about each other, and, and we're always telling Chris he needs to be more responsible. You sure this wouldn't interfere with your classes? No, no, wouldn't. Well, we appreciate the offer, and we accept it. That is a very wise man you got there, Mom. Nicely done, sweetheart. Thank you. Nicely done. Now well, you're right, son. You're the best man for the job. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Uh, go ahead. You need it more than I do. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You know, my kids have been through enough this year, and I really don't want to add divorce to it. I see. And I certainly don't feel I have to do it unless I have to be free for someone. And you don't feel that way? No, I don't. Of course, there's no one making inroads that way. The thing is that Tom and I are separated from one another, but we still... we still are going to cross paths because... We have a lot in connection. We have, we, 
We have the kids, we have friends, we have family. But you're not planning on getting back together with them. What is it, Alec? What is all this interest between about me and Tom? What is it? Because, Margo, I meant what I said. I still want to see you. Okay. But, um... Considering the circumstances, it's probably best that you won't be showing up at the office. What circumstances? I hired Emily Stewart. Emily? It was your husband's idea. He seemed to think she's very good. He was very fond of her journalistic talents. So I rubber stamped his request and put her on staff at the Argus. Wait a minute, you're telling me that Tom, Tom requested Emily? When was this? Hey! Didn't expect to find you here. Gee, Margo, you didn't tell me your husband was here. Dinner's ready. Let's call him. <laughs> Hillsbury garlic breadsticks. The warm, fresh baked aroma brings them running every time. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm, works every time. Question, how do dermatologists visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines caused by the sun? With Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Cream. With retinol, the purest form of vitamin A, to work deeper within the skin surface, reducing the appearance of wrinkles. Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Cream. This spray can make more of a difference than you ever imagined. Mom, we don't have to pick up Matt and Jennifer. They're still sick. It can help make a difference in how many school days your kids miss this cold season. Just do what pediatricians do in their own homes. Zap those hot spots and kill the cold bug with Lysol Disinfectant Spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds. Night and day, Lysol Spray helps protect. You have our word on it. There's a place where phones go unanswered. And you can have tea with your high school sweetheart and Cornelius from Planet of the Apes. And you can visit every night with Serta. We make the world's best mattress. All the snuggle fabric softener in the world won't get rid of his wrinkles. <laughs> but come laundry day, it can sure help reduce some of yours. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Big night out. <laughs> Even bigger problem. I needed a pad. M only had tampons. Tampons? Playtex. Playtex Dental Glide. Dental Glide. And I'm thinking, is this going to be comfortable? And M says, why wear a pad that feels like a diaper? <laughs> no way. Nothing protects quite like Playtex Gentle Glide because its unique design adjusts to comfort fit your body. No pad, not even the thinnest ones, can do that. Playtex Gentle Glide tampons. So comfortable, you can't even feel them. <laughs> Is this kind of SWAT training going to make America's schools safer? Eye on America, tonight. Tuesday on 60 Minutes 2, the U.S. has kept secrets, but none quite like the one Dan Rather uncovered, a war you haven't heard about until now. Tuesday at 9, 8 Central. CBS Tuesday. In the courtroom, Judge Amy Gray's decisions are final. Can I stop a plane from taking off? Yes, ma'am. But at home, her mother still gets to overrule. You're not expecting me to watch five little girls. Uh, six. I asked you, you promised. Was I drinking at the time? Amy Brenneman and Tyne Daly star in an all-new Judging Amy, CBS Tuesday. No. Forget it. I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Uh, holding that letter. Mrs. Williams is probably just laying the groundwork in case Abigail continues asking more questions about Molly and me. You know what? I think the next move should come from Abigail. I mean, I think that's the best way. Just between us? I would be relieved if we don't hear anything more about this right away. Molly has become pretty notorious. Her name and picture are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, true. Just what a teenager needs. Hello, hello? Molly. Okay, if I come in? Uh, sure. We were just talking about you, you, actually. You had the same letter that I got. Yeah. Did you uh, see the photograph of her? Yeah, yeah, I got one, too. <laughs> She's beautiful, I isn't know, she? I know, she is. No, I think she has your smile. I do. I don't know. I see this one. Oh, God. Holden, so what do you, what do you think? Well, Lily and I were just talking about this. I'm inclined to give Mrs. Williams permission to tell Abigail about me. How do you feel about it? Terrified. But, but I'm all for it, too. So, Holden, uh... can you think of anything more exciting than finally getting to know our little girl? <laughs> 
I guess we're in agreement then. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna call her right now. When you get to the eraser, it's done. These are for Tom. Mm. He loves his number two pencil sharp. Oh, does that pass for intimate detail these days? Oh, no, 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 no. No, see, I... I know lots of intimate details about your son. Oh, I see. Now, if we're talking about boxes versus briefs, I think he might have changed his mind several times since the last time oh, he had a Oh, stop. Don't be so tacky, Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a monopoly on that particular trait? <sighs> I wonder what's taking him. What do you think he is? Oh, well... I know where he is. He's with his wife. And what's happening there? Well, Lisa, can he can be with his wife without being with her. You know what? You gotta face the facts that Tom does not love you. And the sooner you face that, the better off you'll be. Yeah, it's funny. I, I really doubt that Tom discusses his love life with his mother. Tom wanted you to have a job because he wanted you to stop leaning on him. He wants you to learn to stand on your own two feet. In other words, he pities you, Emily. He pities you. And pity does not stand for... Well, I mean, that doesn't stand for a roll in the hay. Not in any language I got I news know. for you. If you weren't my boss, I would never be standing here taking your insults. Why don't you quit? Not a chance. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Because it just so happens I have this wonderful little job for you. It's over here at Borden Township. It seems we got word that their, their septic system is not working. And uh, people are getting sick. They're throwing up all over the place. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you have another uh, reporter no, 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 or an no. intern you, or You've got to think about it. This way, Endicott, sweethearts. Pulitzers. Come on. Chop, no, chop. But I, I'm, I'm the boss here. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you are. What are we talking about it? This place is not a place for little Danny here. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Well, by the sound of it, neither is Borden Township. So, I'll be leaving that little bundle of joy with his doting grandmother. You know what? He needs to be changed. Oh, we have a long way to go, don't we, sweetheart? Yes, we do. Our work is cut out for us. <laughs> oh, honey, your mother's a piece of work. Don't you worry. I will watch out for you. Yes, I will. I'll watch out for you and your daddy. Woody, how, how did you get in here? Uh, front door. I used my keys. Still my house, remember? What do you want? Just came by to get my tennis racket. You should have called first, Tom. Well, I didn't expect to find you here. I mean, what are you doing home in the middle of the day? I don't work for Wallace Enterprises anymore. Oh, you quit. Well, good for you. No, I was fired, so not good. You see, I told her not to take so many coffee breaks. I'm glad you find it funny. You know, if you fired her, why are you here bothering her? I came over here to save Margo the embarrassment of learning from strangers that... You're still pulling the strings for Emily Stewart. Is that what you did, Tom? You hired Emily to work at the Argus with you? She needs a job. She's a single mom with a baby. She just got out of prison. Yeah, so you thought it'd be okay to rub shoulders with her again? Please, be reasonable. Be reasonable. Yes, and remember that she's the reason I got my first newspaper job. I'm never going to forget that. Look, just think of it as payback. Yeah, it's payback, all right, for me for trusting you. You know, if I ever needed an example of what a jerk you are, this is it. How could you do it? How could you, how could you be with that woman again? When I get a migraine, I just want to get rid of it. And I found a way to do it in one dose. One dose of Excedrin migraine. It's the one doctors recommend most for migraine pain. Excedrin Migraine. Safely relieves migraine pain in just one dose. Something's up with Mom. Yeah, now when she comes home, she has an activity planned. Soccer, baseball, badminton. She's a total spaz. Listen, we like playing just as much as the next kid, but doing it with Mom is going to take a little getting used to. Exercise, eat right, and for nutritional support, take GNC's Women's Ultra Mega Multivitamins with more calcium and more B vitamins that are important to a woman's health. GNC. Live well. Maybe she'll grow out of it. Yeah. 
you're about to see a toothbrush do something rather unusual. Introducing the Colgate Navigator. It bends wide open, so its bristles gently, automatically adjust to the surfaces of your teeth. Even hard to reach ones way in back for a thorough clean. For years, dentists have been saying, open wide. Finally, someone listened. The new Colgate Navigator, bent on cleaning better. You're tough enough to be real, but not too tough to feel. You need protection. You want comfort. Kotex Maxis give you both. Keeping the dream alive. Under pressure, the other leading maxi can let fluid escape to the sides. But with our safety zone, Kotex keeps fluid in the center better, so you're comfortably protected no matter what the day brings. Soft, strong. You've got it together with Kotex. breeze blowing up my shorts that felt like Christmas. The King of Queens. Then, how does one man cope with a wife, an ex-wife, a daughter, another daughter, a mother, and a mother-in-law? Would you like a Valium? Please. Ladies' Man. Series premiere after The King of Queens. CBS Tonight. The Price is Right is on the move. Now you can catch us at a new time. 3 o'clock, weekday afternoons on CBS 2. The time is right. The Price is Right. So come on down. Weekdays at 3 on CBS 2. Today at 4 on Women to Women News, Young and the Restless. It's TV's most popular daytime soap, and we've got one of the biggest stars. Don't miss our surprise special guest, starting at 4 on the all-new Women to Women News. Today. You were the guy they loved to make fun of. Because you were the guy with the funny teeth. Hi, Hi Jerry. <laughs> But that was a long time ago, before Western Dental. The kind of quality orthodontics that can not only change your teeth, Jerry, but change your life. Great dentists, affordable prices. Call 1-800-757-6818. Smile, you've got Western Dental. Need a good night's sleep? Ortho Mattress promises a huge warehouse selection and the guaranteed lowest prices. This weekend only, get a Serta Perfect Sleeper Pillow Top queen size for just $3.99. Ortho, America's favorite mattress store. The laughs just keep on coming on the next Hollywood Squares. The address is CBS. Wait, wait. What? I thought we were in agreement. We were in agreement that Abigail should make the next move. Look, I know you're anxious to make contact with her, but... I'm not going to force her to see me. I just thought we could talk. Mrs. Williams said Abigail has just begun asking questions. I don't think a call from her birth mother out of the blue is the smartest thing to do. Well, fine. Then we'll just call Mrs. Williams. And what if Abigail answers the phone? And here's enough of her mom's conversation on that end of the telephone to put things together. I guess you're right. It was a really dumb idea. It... What if, what if Abigail never wants to meet me? Or even worse, what if she, what if she does want to meet me? What if Abigail hates me? I hate to say this, but it could be true. I think you have to be prepared for anything. You know how I feel about Emily Stewart. You know that I feel she's like poisoned. And you. I'm not defending her. You defend her at every turn, Tommy. You were her lawyer, for God's sakes, among other things. Please don't. How dare you come over here and pretend that everything is hunky-dory and, and you don't even mention to me that you're working with this woman again. Um, you know, I just arrived and you already have company, remember? Thank God, because if Alec weren't here, so I'm telling you that. You want to get together? and talk about what's going on between us, I'm there, because I have some questions about what's going on with you, too. You want to get us a minute? Certainly. Thank you. That is the second time that I covered for you. Now, don't tell me that guy means something to you, because if he did, you wouldn't keep lying to him. God, thank God he showed up when he did, because I don't know what I was thinking, Tom. You weren't thinking, honey. You were feeling the same thing I'm feeling. How could you do that? How could you work with her? How could you be with her again? Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. Just 
just a minute ago, we were on the sofa about to make love. Okay. But I'm not gonna leave it like this. Just leave. Go. Go back to work. Go back to work and say hi to Emily for me. Go. So, you get everything cleared up? Yeah, I got everything cleared up with Tom. No, there's a few things I gotta clear up with you, Alec. When it comes to your health, never compromise, even when choosing a laxative. You need one that's strong enough to work overnight, but also gentle. Try doctor-recommended Dolcolax. Its comfort coating even protects your stomach. Get strong, get gentle, get doctor-recommended Dolcolax. I have an announcement to make. I don't just color my hair. I revitalize it with excellence cream from L'Oreal, the non-drip color cream. Of course, it protects, always has. But now excellence is even better with a Ceramide and protein formula to revitalize your hair for rich color, incredible body, more oomph. And does it ever cover grays? Not that I ever had any. Excellence cream from L'Oreal. Because I'm worth it. Hungry Jack Biscuits now have the mmm delicious taste of cinnamon and sugar in every flaky layer. Mmm, these are really good. Hungry Jack mm. Cinnamon and Sugar Biscuits. I need strong arthritis relief. I want soft skin. Now I get both. Introducing new Arthricare Hand and Body Lotion. Fast relief of minor arthritis pain plus special skin softeners. Arthricare Lotion. Pain relief plus moisturizers. All in one. If you're using two products, one to kill germs and one to shine your kitchen, it can feel like you've got two of everything. It doesn't have to. Introducing Windex Antibacterial Glass and Surface Cleaner, the first antibacterial that not only kills tough germs, but leaves a streak-free Windex shine. Without the film, the leading antibacterial can leave behind. So why deal with two unless you have to? Mom, hungry. Now try Windex Antibacterial. It's time for a germ-free shine. S.C. Johnson. Enjoy something made better with time. Introducing Slow Roast, a new coffee from Maxwell House. So mom wants to go with dad to this medical conference in Boston. Well, they need some time alone. Yeah, I'm, I mean, she doesn't want to go because of Graham, you know? Until I, uh, I volunteered my services. Good. And, Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know? It's weird, Mom and Dad, they treat Graham like she's some fossil. Yeah, they're worried about her. I thought they worry about everything. What, they're still in your case? Please, 24-7. I think it's because I'm, I'm an Ilya. You, heard, you know what that is? Yeah, insufficiently launched young adult. I don't right. just take pictures, I read the papers. Nice. Anyway, Chris, they're your parents. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. That's their job. They worry about their kids. Yeah. I guess so. You know, you ought to, um, you ought to come down to the pad one of these nights, you know? A little barbecue, throw on some burgers. Grandma would love that. Well, if I'm around, yeah, I will. What do you mean, if you're around? I haven't told anybody yet, but, uh, Molly moved into Reed Hamilton's old apartment. No way. I have to watch her bringing guys home, bump into her in the courtyard. The first time she has a problem, she's gonna be knocking on my door. I see what you mean. So I, I gotta be honest with myself. Do I wanna take a nosedive into a bottle of vodka? Because I don't know how much of that I can take. So when you came in, I was on the phone with my agent, trying to get some work out of town. Not, not permanently. Yeah. Permanent. I mean, you're the only guy I ever talked to. I'll stay in touch. Well, where are you gonna go? I don't know. BC, I don't care. As long as it's a million miles away from Oakdale. Why? What did I do? Because you know the hell that Emily put me through last year, and yet you fire me and hire her. Margo, come on. Calm down. Calm down. Don't say calm down. I hate it when men say calm down to me. I Just... took Tom's recommendation. He seemed to think Emily could help. Well, she can't help. Margo, whatever his motives were, would he hire somebody who couldn't do the job? 
Well, let's just forget about Emily. Let's talk about us. Margo, I care about you. I want to be with you. That's why I couldn't have you around the office. You're too much of a distraction. Oh, great. Yeah, right. <laughs> Emily Stewart's not. Well, obviously, Allie, you haven't seen her dress for success outfit. She's a striking woman. So what? She's... She lies. She cheats. She can't be trusted. She turns everything around to suit her own purposes. That's what she does best. And what about you? What about me, Alec? Can I trust you? What's really happening between you and Tom? Nothing is happening between me and Tom. Listen, thank you very much for coming over here and offering me the check, but as far as my fi finances are concerned, I don't want to take anything from Tom or you or anyone. So where does that leave you? I guess that leaves me job hunting. Margo, I'm sorry. I feel very bad that I let you go. You know what? PR's not really my thing, you know? I'm just a cop. What if... Hmm. What if I brought you on as a consultant? Well, now, Alec, is that a roundabout way of offering me a handout? No. No, it's a very direct way of saying I let you go and I shouldn't have. Feel guilty? I got an idea. Why don't... Because you said you were worried about being the next target for whomever it was that took out Gary Rady. Why don't you let me consult with your security team? That's what I do. I'm a cop. And that way, Alec, I can keep an eye on you. And I can keep an eye on you at the same time. Okay. We got a deal. That'll work for me. Gary's here. Yes. <laughs> Emily brought him to work. Well, why did your mommy do that? <gasps> Look at my boy. <laughs> why do you think his mommy did that? He's the bait, <gasps> darling. You're the catch. Emily is just planning to have filet of Don. Yes, she is. For, oh, it's all right. Just for lunch, breakfast, dinner, 30 years worth. Yeah, well, yeah. she's just going to have to fish in other waters. Oh. Margo and I are getting back together. Is that true? Yeah, it's oh, true. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> yeah, me too. I didn't expect you back so soon. How's your day? Not bad. Not, uh, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know it's really hard, you know, when you see your wife with another man all hot and heavy. Oh, I'm not that upset, you know. <laughs> after, uh, after the reception I got, I'm not very worried. I'm worried at all. Excuse me, Lisa, do you mind? Uh, may I have a word with Tom in private? Well, no, actually, I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. No, indeed. Oh, where's that, that uh, article I asked you to do? Hmm? Oh, the I'll article. be filing in an hour, and you're going to want to have it for, for page one. Really, you certainly didn't take very long. Well, long enough to find out that Borden Township um, was promised town sewage two years ago, but the funds allocated for that purpose disappeared, so you smelled septic overflows, I smelled indictments, okay? I see. Very well, I look forward to reading that. Yes, I do. So tell me, what about this uh, reception of yours? Look, uh, I'm not saying this to hurt you, Emily. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Can I have my son, please? Come here. Yeah, I, I can take it, <laughs> really. Um, you need to know about Margo and me. We were alone today, and I found out what I've been hoping to find out. Can I ask what that was? Yeah, I still have her heart. She has mine and always will, and Emily. That is never going to change. Oh, we're having chicken. Try new McCormick flavor medleys. Oh, we're having chicken. Watch how McCormick flavors any meal. Oh, meatloaf. Oh. 
tantalize the taste of everything you cook. Look in the spice aisle for new McCormick flavor medleys. The same old meals oh. will never be the same. There is a place where the only problems you need to solve involve a swimming pool, a ladder, and two Mickey Roonies. And you are cordially invited to visit each and every night by Serta. We make the world's best mattress. Does tossing one of these into your tank kill germs? Well, here's one way to be sure. Lysol Continuous Action Automatic Toilet Cleaner. It not only cleans, it kills germs. No other automatic toilet cleaner kills more. You have our word on it. You don't have to dig very deep to find the secret to the great taste of Russell Stover Pecan Delights. It's the pecans, made from creamy caramel, packed with crunchy pecans and covered in delicious milk chocolate. Russell Stover Pecan Delights, exploding with pecan taste. Why do people believe nothing works better than Alka-Seltzer Plus? It just breaks up my nasal congestion so that I can finally breathe. Only Alka-Seltzer Plus has the power of effervescence. It gets the medicine moving to break up your worst cold symptoms. Nothing breaks up your cold better. Are you ready for the fat curl? Get new One Coat Color and Curl Mascara from Elme. Curls fat, really thick, in one clump-free coat for fat, curlaceous lashes, outrageous eyes. New Elme One Coat Color and Curl Mascara. So we're on the same page here. Mrs. Williams calls the shots. We'll respond to her the way that she wanted through her private P.O. box. Yeah, maybe it's for the best. My life's such a mess right now. It'll give me time to get my life, my act together. You know, if and when she does want to meet us, I want her to like me. I don't want her to think I'm some loser. Well, I think she got the message. Oh, honey, what are you talking about? Emily. She has no self-respect, no self-esteem. She has no ears, shame, Mom. No... I told her. My future is with Marco. Oh, I see. Well, uh... I, I wish I could really believe that myself, Mom, darling. believe it. Is Alec out of Margot's life? Well, not completely out of her life. She's playing some kind of game. Oh, come on. What kind of game? Well, I don't exactly know. I, when she found out that I got Emily a job here, she kind of clammed up. Oh, oh, oh I, I see. Well, then it, now it's clear. Your wife is still uh, involved with this man. And uh, she's furious with you because you brought this bimbo in, the bimbo who had your baby, and you're going to work with her 39 hours a day. I don't know. No wonder. Well, now you're feeling that, well, oh, there's great hope for your marriage after all. Mom? What? I'm going to get Margo back. <laughs> I just have to regain her trust. And I know exactly how to do that. Then you do that. You work home, Margo. Leave Miss Emily to me. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna let that Margo destroy our lives. No. You and your daddy and me, we're all gonna be together. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make that happen. Ah, I know. I know. Mr. Wallace came over to the house, and I got him to offer me the position of security consultant. And isn't that great? Hell, I've got access to so many more things now. <laughs> you know what? I, I, don't, I don't care how Tom feels about it. This is my job, and I gotta do it. I'm gonna see it through to the end. No, it fell into place beautifully. Margot Hughes is out of the office, but I can still keep tabs on her. She's at arm's length, but not out of reach. Look, 
I'm gonna need you back here in Oakdale for one more hit. Target, you're in for one hell of a surprise. Thank you, Aleve. For years, I often had a hard time walking, even had knee surgery. I tried all kinds of pain relievers. Finally, a doctor suggested Aleve. Just two worked all day. Soon I could dance all night again. Aleve, all day strong, all day long. Soft, fresh, incredibly thin. Introducing Carefree Ultra Thins, the thinnest panty liners ever. So you feel nothing but clean and fresh every day. New Carefree Ultra Thins. You point them in the right direction, and little things will linger with them. Quaker Oatmeal. It's the familiar, favorite start to all they have before them. So they can prepare for the day. But part of you is still with them. You found the hug that lasts all day. Quaker Oatmeal warms you heart and soul. Menopause affects you in more ways than one. That's why new Caltrate Plus Soy does more. It has soy isoflavones to help ease the effects of menopause and the calcium you need to help fight menopausal bone loss. New Caltrate Plus Soy, the Caltrate for menopause. Why is it models always look 15? Wrinkles? Talk to her in about 20 years. At the Pons Institute, we don't give you hype, just results. Our age-defying lotion is proven to visibly reduce fine lines by up to 77%. Age-defying lotion, no hype, just younger-looking skin. It's allergy season again. So what do doctors prescribe for itchy, watery, allergy eyes like yours? Patinol. Patinol. More than any other prescription allergy eye drop? Patinol. Patinol works fast. In just minutes. And it lasts eight hours. <laughs> it really works. Some people may experience headache, burning, or stinging. Take your contacts out before use. Bye-bye, allergy eyes. Patinol. Works in minutes. Lasts eight hours. When families are in crisis. I'll do everything I can to get your sons back. When marriages are tested. What you're doing is petty, and it isn't worthy of you. These are the lawyers you need, because they've been there. I am in court with a woman who is fighting to hang on to her kids. I stand on my phone, baby. I do it all. I'm only human on the inside. You're a good lawyer. You're here. Family Law premieres CBS tonight. The government has just placed the mind of an average guy in the perfectly engineered body. Now he can go anywhere. All right, here we are now. Just do the same thing.